Hello, I'm MK Davis. Uh, what you're looking at here is a still from uh, the video clip that I featured some time back called The Peeper. Uh, the Peeper simply referring to uh, an alleged Bigfoot or Sasquatch that peeks from behind a tree at the camera. And, uh, you know, there has been, you know, people have speculated that watch the video that it looks like, like a man in a ghillie suit or a man you know, uh, or person with really long hair that it kind of swings. And, you know, I, I didn't really know exactly, you know, you can't really get that good a look at it. It just peeks from behind the tree at, a, at a, you know, for a split second there a couple of times. And it, it did look like it, it was something. Um, and, I, you know, I finally, I got an explanation finally. Uh, I sat down with one of the, one of the takers of the videos and uh and he explained to me what he thought it was and i think he's right um i think it's probably first of all let's take a look at this right here and this is what they is they call a setup uh it's, it's a part of a uh, uh just a, a a set of props of various things uh that that they tried over the years the researchers did to try to sort of get you know a response from the bigfoot and this is a poncho that belonged to one of them, um, and a little camo waterproof poncho. And they got to realizing that the thing was being moved around quite a bit, and and they'd find it in first one place then another. So it was just left out there uh, and used various times for setups like this, and then other times it was just cast aside. And uh, and the, the the general idea is when you look at the peeper, that you're looking at uh, someone or something wearing this poncho. Uh, you know, it's just a stick your head through it type thing. No sleeves, no anything like that. Um, so I got to looking at the peeper, you know, frame by frame closely to see if that might be the case. And, and, and you know, it, it sure looks like that may be it, the explanation for why you see the uh, what maybe had looked like a ghillie suit or or maybe perhaps looked like long hair that was, you know, kind of swinging as it did its peep, may have actually been this poncho. Let's take a look at the peeper video, uh, and and just we'll just examine it closely. Okay, here we go. Now just watch it. It peeks out behind the tree the first time, and then it does it again. And now let's boost the contrast up. Okay, there we go. Take a look at it again. Now let's look at a steel. Look closely at the head and you'll see a line of demarcation uh, between a lighter colored head and then the neck or down somewhat. Uh, it does appear that there's a lighter colored head sticking through a darker uh, area, you know, below. So maybe we are seeing something unique here. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to get a poncho on. Uh, you just stick your head through the hole and it's on. Uh, you know, and I'm sure if they saw anybody wearing one, it would be, you know, pretty self-explanatory anyway. Uh, how to get your head through there. Um, it, you don't have to be uh, an Einstein. So uh, it, it this appears to be one of those, the lighter colored or white Sasquatches, you know, perhaps wearing that poncho. You know, without the benefit of explanation, you never would take the trouble to look that closely or to boost that contrast or do a frame-by-frame frame, uh, because you simply had not, did not have your attention drawn to it. Uh, uh, it took one of, the, one of the, the principals involved who saw this poncho being utilized or moved around or uh, uh, an object of interest, uh, you know, that, that sort of point point you that way and and then when you boost the contrast when you do the, the film work the video work you see a white head a white head sticking through the hole in that poncho <laughs> well you know considering some of the other things that I've seen on these videos uh, that's that's a rather tame one there uh Okay, uh, you know, if, if that's the case, uh, 
you know, I can accept that. Uh, it's just a round hole. I thank you for your time.